Welcome to another Lightroom Quick Get It. Today I'm gonna take this raw file and create a dramatic black and white picture of it in just about five minutes. So first thing, not wanna waste any time, just go into black and white, bring down the highlights so we get a lot of detail back from the bright clouds and the bright sky. Then I'm gonna bring up the shadows more than it seems necessary, but I do that in order to bring down the blacks more than usual while still retrieving some detail in the dark parts. Here would be shadows at zero and the blacks very much down. So you can see it just helps to kind of create some contrast and some more interest while still keeping some of the detail in the dark parts. Then the contrast slider, I might even bring that a little bit to the left. The difference between contrast and blacks is that contrast really just um, decreases or adds contrast overall on the picture very evenly while the blacks really just, as the name suggests, adds contrast in the blacks and you know make the blacks darker. So the next thing that I'm definitely gonna do here is add some clarity because I really think that will work very well for this picture. And let's see, overall exposure. I feel like it might even be a touch too bright. So I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit and go down to the tonal curve. And here I'm as always gonna bring up the highlights just a little bit in this case because the sky is already really bright and I'm gonna fix the sky in a second. Then as always play around with the rest of the sliders and just stick with whatever looks best. That works pretty well here. Then I'm gonna grab a graduated filter and just kind of roughly bring it over the sky. As you can see, I've selected some houses, the top parts of these houses as well. And that's actually really not a big deal. But of course, if you would like to select just the sky, be sure to grab an adjustment brush and, you know, select the sky very carefully so you don't get anything else in the picture. But for here, I'm just gonna bring down the exposure with a graduated filter. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit of contrast here, just to make this guy even more interesting, even more stormy looking. And I'm also gonna increase the clarity slider by just a little bit. And I really do love this look of the sky. Here's before and here's after. Definitely a ton of difference. Then let's go down here to the effects tools and bring a little bit of vignetting into the picture. I really think that would work very, very well for this picture. It really just helps to give an overall darker mood and to create a little bit more interest towards the center. And I really think that works well. So because this is a five minute quick edit, I'm not gonna do a ton of other stuff. I'm just gonna grab another graduated filter, a very small one here and bring it on the top portion of the sky and just lower the exposure by quite a bit just so we close out the image. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the very bottom. Maybe not as much in the minus exposure here. And yeah, that way we really have already a very dark image. Now the overall picture, especially in the foreground, is a little bit dark and a little bit boring. So what I'm gonna do is add dodge and burning. So for that I'm just gonna grab a radial filter, bring up or bring down the exposure and create some filters on the scene. Because this is a task that kinda takes a few minutes and isn't really interesting to watch, I'm gonna speed up the footage. So see you in a second. Alright, so I'm back after roughly adding some radial filters for about two minutes. Here's before and here's after, so you can see just a ton of difference, a ton of more interest and dynamic in the whole picture. So here is before and here is before in black and white without any adjustments to it. And here's what we've made of it in just about five minutes. So it's really a drastic difference, really amazing what you can do with Lightroom even in such a short period. 
So I really hope you enjoyed that video, if you did, please give me a thumbs up, that really helps me out a ton and enables me to keep making these kind of videos. And if you would like to see a little bit more in-depth tutorials about how I edit pictures in Lightroom where I really go over every single slider and every module and tell you what I do and why I do an adjustment etc, be sure to check out the link in the description down below, I have linked the playlist there with all of my in-depth tutorials and of course be sure to subscribe if you would like to see more videos just like this one and other tutorials in the future. Thank you very much for watching and keep taking awesome pictures. Take care.